Hey honeys, what's pop like and dropping? It's your girl, Melody Tore. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, honey, you already know what to do. Hit that like button, show me some love. If you want to interact with me and you know, feel my vibe, comment down below. And then don't forget to hit that subscribe button because you want to follow this channel and hit that notification bell because if you don't, you will miss my next video, okay? So honey, in today's video, we are talking about hygiene, okay? It is very important to have good hygiene being a woman, even a man, okay, whatever. You need to have good hygiene if you wanna be out here getting that bag, okay? You cannot be smelling musty, dusty, crusty. So I'm gonna show you all of the products that I use to have some good hygiene and all these sorry and all the products that I have I bought myself no I am not getting paid to promote any of these products so honey let's get into it all right so first we're gonna start at the top with the head hair your hair always needs to smell good girl I don't need to explain myself, especially if you wear a weave or extensions, always make sure that you get deep down into your hair. That way it don't start to smell like mildew. So the favorite shampoo and conditioner I like to use are from the OGX collection. I believe that is OGX. This is the Brazilian Keratin Therapy, the conditioner and the shampoo. When I say, when this right here does wonders on my hair, it's really silky and shiny and soft. And then also I had bleached my hair and keratin helps put protein back into your hair. So if you have damaged hair, I definitely recommend getting a protein based shampoo and conditioner with keratin in it. And then they also smell really good. So girl, mm -hmm. go check that out. And then also get you a hair oil. I have a hair oil, but I don't feel like going deep, deep down into my hair box. Um, that way you could put an extra coat of something that smells nice and then it's also very shiny. You do not want to have stank hair. When people hug you, the first things they smell are you and your hair. Okay, remember that. Moving on to the ears. Ears, ears, ears. Always keep your ears clean. Me, I have wipes. So, I use my wipes to go behind my ears and then on the top. And then of course, I also have my Q-tips that I get from like the Dollar Tree, Dollar General, Walmart, wherever girl. And I like to wet my Q-tip first and then go in my ear and get all of the earwax out. And then go in with my baby wipe and wipe around the sides and the back and just make sure I got any excess wax out of my ear. Next, face skin very important of course everyone is not blessed with really good skin some people have acne blemishes dark spots whatever and then i also have a skincare line punani box i'm gonna flash it real quick i'm not gonna get too much into punani box i'm gonna go get into the punani here later but if you don't know i have a skincare line punani box i have a vajayshul kit and then i'm also about to drop punani box skin which is specifically for your face only now of course you want to have you a cleanser a toner a moisturizer an astringent a mask a scrub there's so much that goes into having youthful radiant skin but definitely make sure you invest in higher in products so you can get that nice glow because baby that's the first thing people see is your face next teeth honey floss so i like to use these placards that I got again from like the Dollar Tree or um, Family Dollar, whatever. I don't like the regular tooth floss because it's just too difficult for me to get in there. So I like the tooth floss that come with the picks on the end. Girl, get that plaque out of your teeth. It is not cute. And then also you need to have you a good toothbrush. Okay, so I use an electric toothbrush that I actually got. I actually was sent this toothbrush. It's my first electric toothbrush I've ever had. You've got to be fucking kidding me. <laughs> All right, y'all, so my light went out. I'm sorry, but I have a backup light. You know. But anyways, back into the toothbrush. Get you a good toothbrush, girl. I'm never going back to an ordinary toothbrush. Electric or nothing, okay? Or not. Well, no, not nothing. We're going we're gonna to use a little something, but you get the point, girl. You get the point. Next, toothpaste. 
Now, a lot of people don't know, I didn't even know, that some tooth, well, all toothpaste have a color on the back of them. Let me show you. So look on the back of your toothpaste and see what color it is. For instance, let me see if it'll, um, this one is green, meaning it doesn't have any chemicals in it. So if you look on the back of your toothpaste, like Crest, for instance, go ahead, girl, get up. Get up, walk your butt to the restroom, and grab your toothpaste. Now look on the back of it. Is it red, blue, or green? If it's red, that means it has chemicals in it. Go ahead and throw that toothpaste away. It was only $6, girl. Throw it away, and let's go get some healthier toothpaste. So I like Hello. Hello is one of the number one all-natural toothpaste, and I love it. It makes my breath smell really good, and you can really tell the difference between a non-chemical toothpaste and a, and a toothpaste that has chemicals in it hello like literally hello i love this toothpaste i'm never going back to crest and the next thing obviously you want to wash your mouth out i use two things to wash my mouth out that i currently don't have with me because i honestly just ran out so the first one but i'm going to put a picture of them right here the first one is hydrogen peroxide a lot of people don't read. Reading is very essential. On the back, oh, on the front of hydrogen peroxide, it says oral astringent, meaning you can wash your mouth out with it. Girl, I know you didn't know, but go do it. If you have hydrogen peroxide, thank me later. Go ahead and go grab it, put it in your mouth, and rinse. You're going to feel it bubble up, just like how it bubbles up on a cut, but it's because your mouth is not an open wound, but you know, it's like your mouth skin is different. And so it's going to immediately go in there and start bubbling up. And it's going to wipe out all of the bacteria in your mouth. And then follow it up with an actual mouth wash. My favorite mouth wash is Smart Mouth. Smart Mouth is honestly one of the best mouth wash ever. I've only tried that and like Crest and um, whatever other. I forget the names of all the other mouth washes, girl. But I'm never going back to any other mouthwash. Smart Mouth is the best. It literally cleans your whole mouth out, girl. When I say your breath will be fresh all day and in the morning, like, thank me later. Smart Mouth is that shit, okay? I'm gonna go ahead and get into, oh, armpits. Armpits are next. So let me let y'all see my armpits because I honestly did not know that a lot of girls have issues with their armpits. And I'm actually gonna stand up because I like the way this looks way better. I'm just gonna go ahead and stand up and do this, but let me show y'all my armpits. I never realized until I started, you know, hanging out with girls more often that ladies really have issues with their armpits. As you can see, I don't have issues with my armpits. They look just like my face, girl. But of course, not everybody is fortunate to have good pits, okay? So, I'm gonna show y'all a few of my secrets. First of all, you need to quit shaving your armpits. Get them waxed. You don't have to grow them fully out, but at least let the hair get at least a grain rice long and then girl, go get it waxed. Okay, quit shaving your armpits. It makes it so dark and really like not cute. Tricks to lighten up your armpits. Get a wax, use some lemon on your armpits. And also you can invest in lightening agents, natural lightening agents that'll help lighten up your armpits. One thing I love the most is after I get my armpits freshly waxed, putting on some deodorant. It just feels so good when you have nice, smooth, clean armpits and then you wanna go in there and put on your deodorant. My favorite deodorant, of course, is Dove, honey. I love all of their scents. Honestly, there's not like one scent that I favor more than others. Every time I go and get a new deodorant, I always get a new scent. Right now, I'm using apple and white tea. I really like the way this one smells. It's really fresh. And then I just spray it on like that. Get the whole pit. And bam, you're ready to go. But yeah, <laughs> Dove, get in. get in there, girl. Go ahead and get into body wash. Cleaning your body, exfoliating, using a nice soap. Honey, you already know. My favorite soap, of course, is Dove. I like the pomegranate one. My favorite one is the cucumber. They didn't have cucumber at Walmart. I don't know why, so I had to get this one. 
And then you want to pair your body wash with some exfoli with some <laughs> I can't talk girl. And then you want to pair your body wash with some exfoliating gloves. I don't like loofah sponges or rags. I personally don't feel like I'm getting clean when I wash my body with a rag. It doesn't feel like it's doing anything. And then loofah sponges, I have a piercing on my neck. So loofah sponges sometimes get caught onto it, so I stopped using loofahs. And exfoliating gloves are the next. And personally, I love it because you know you can just go in, get everything that you need to get, and at the same time you're exfoliating your body and getting all the dead skin off. <laughs> and then let's not forget that this soap smells so good, <laughs> so good. And then of course, after you take a shower, you need to moisturize your skin. All the soap takes out all the moisture and leaves you really dry. So my favorite lotion is Jergens, the Ultra Healing Lotion. I love the way it smells. It's 48 hour moisturizer. And then when you put it on, like we all know, it feels so good. Jergens on your body after a fresh shower, girl. And even, even just throughout the day putting Jergens on. Like I love this lotion. But I also use an oil. I don't just use lotion. So when I'm going out somewhere or anything to where I have shorts on where you can see my legs, I always go in there with my Neutrogena body oil. Like for instance, this dress I have on, I'm going to put this oil on my legs. Girl, it looks so nice when you're out and you have your legs out and they're nice and oiled up. It's so sexy. It's just like whenever you oil up some, somebody booty. You know, put that booty on, put that oil on the booty, and it just look all nice and slappable. Same thing with your legs, girl. Somebody gonna want you to wrap them sexy oiled up legs right around them, girl. Don't play with me. But yes, oil and lotion, and then I also put this on my body. It's not too oily. It's just it's the perfect perfect body oil. Next, I want to get into some hair removal stuff. So of course I get waxes, but I also use Nair. Now I already know some people don't like Nair, some people are against it because it has the chemicals, etc. But I, all, I don't always have time to go get a wax. Sometimes I'm in a rush and I need the hair down there off. So I'll sometimes use this. I do not use this on my underarms though. Um, for some reason I just, my underarms really don't grow that much hair and so when the hair does grow out, you literally can't see it. So I could have a three weeks of hair growth and you won't be able to tell. So that's why I'm so strict on getting it waxed because it's like, you can't see it. So I just leave it there. But down there is different. The hair isn't so thin. So even after a wax, you know, you can still see your hairs. So sometimes I don't, I don't feel like going to go get a touch up. I don't have time to schedule an appointment. Nair. I use Nair on my legs. I use Nair sometimes on my bikini area. Of course, not near the lips. Um, and then I use it on my arms also. I do not like a hairy body. I do not like hairy arms, hairy legs. No. Period. And then I used to use it on my knuckles too, but I just recently got my knuckles waxed. So I was getting my nails done and my hair on my knuckles was so long, girl. And I was like, no, that's nasty. And she waxed it off. I'm never shaving my knuckles again. I'm getting that wax, girl. But Next, we're going to get into the punani and the booty. Okay, so... One thing a lot of girls don't know is it's no, you know, some girls be like a certain zodiac sign has the best punani. No zodiac sign has the best punani. Okay. The best punani is pH balanced punani. Not a zodiac sign, not an age, not a color, none of that. Not a name, girl with a certain name, none of that. PH, not a good pH balanced punani is the best punani. So let's get into it. Boric acid. If you smelling a little fishy down there, if you stick your finger up in there and, and it don't smell right, go invest in, in you some boric acid capsules. I'll be selling boric acid in my punani box coming up very soon. Y'all, like, like I told y'all, I've been all over the place. Next, hmm, girl, probiotics. And that was a good catch, wasn't it? I know, I know you ain't gotta tell me. But... Um, probiotics so I like Azo of course Azo is like the number one company that sells um, probiotics and just pills for women's punani so I love these I take one one a day once a day all month when I run out I get more 
and yes girl you gotta keep it good down there that's one thing about being a woman like the things that matter are hygiene like hygiene matters the most and your punani is literally your treasure box okay and you don't want somebody to be opening up a treasure box that was under the sea okay a little fishy fishy no so invest in that and then next invest in some booty deodorant girl so i will also be selling some booty deodorant with my punani box very soon stay tuned um i like this deodorant it's called native it's actually um you can find this anywhere like on inst on amazon i don't think they sell this at walmart i'm not sure I, this is not specifically a booty deodorant but if you are going to look for you a booty deodorant or a deodorant for the sides of your punani i recommend looking for a deodorant that's all natural and the thing i liked about the native deodorant is it's all natural it smells really good and they actually have probiotics in the deodorant yeah i know i didn't know that but they have probiotics in their deodorant. So that's why I got this one. I know you're like, what girl, that's what? Hmm. Thank me later. Do it and try it. Just one swipe down like that. One swipe on the side of the cooch. Well, the side, on this side of the cooch. And then go. We all know we're girls. I don't care how good your pH balance is. The sides and this booty crack is just like armpits. It's. In between you know it's always your it's always being rubbed up against skin it's kept you know just like armpits that's why armpits start to stink because we have it just like this so same thing with your cooch and your booty it's in an enclosed area so sometimes it can get musty so in order to avoid must get you some booty deodorant girl I do it I've never had an issue with a guy going down on me eat my ass never had them issues Next, we're going to get into more Punani details. So tampons. I do not wear tampons anymore. This box is just sitting here because I don't use them. And when friends come over or whatever, I use pads now that I've learned that a tampon is not supposed to be sitting up inside of you. It can cause a lot of harm. Another tip I could give is to use pads when you're on your period. You know, being on your period, you shouldn't even be active like that sexually so it's okay to have a pad down there and to just let the blood come out and you know do what it's supposed to do instead of staying up inside of you causing problems some girls go in and have like shock or whatever it's called so yeah that's another tip and then getting back into my punani box so i am the owner and inventor of punani box of course i have a couple girls that are trying to bite my style right now um somebody named Badgesty, they put my punani box logo on their box they are not punani box i'm also trademarked so here soon you know i'm gonna, I'm gonna get my lawyer on that right there but um i am the original punani box don't let any of these other girls fool you i started this two years ago it is a skincare slash feminine care line specifically for us women a lot of women do not take care of their punani area like they do the rest of their skin which is why i started punani box i honestly feel like i'm one of the only skincare lines that is specifically for your punani of course other people sell you know boric acid and probiotics and wipes and stuff like that but i have a whole skincare line for you so in punani box comes a cleanser moisturizer toner astringent scrub um you get a hydro jelly mask you get a natural light bright agent that i made myself all most of the products in this box are handmade by me except for like two of them which i get from my vendor and then also it comes with a punani machine so this is the punani machine you can get this off my website for twenty dollars you can use this after sex after you get off your period it's kind of like a douche but it's not i personally like to think of it as a, per a portable bidet so you put water in here stick this up inside of you and you see that it's just like that oh i got it on the, on the box and it cleans you right out you know some girls have build up a cream you know some girls have build up more than others and so it's just a nice machine to have for us women i've never had anybody complain about my punani machines so next i'm gonna get into clothes 
So if you leave your clothes in the washing machine too long after the cycle is done, they start to smell like mildew. And then some people just don't even use good detergent, softener, or whatever. So I'm going to show you all some detergent I like to use on my clothes because when I go somewhere, I want to smell good. I want my clothes to smell good and I want to smell good. So I use the ivory detergent. This detergent is really good for people with sensitive skin. This is a hypoallergenic detergent i have very sensitive skin i would literally always be itching like i'd be so itchy just sitting there and be itching i'm feeling weird because everybody else around me looks like they're fine so why am i so itchy and i finally realized maybe it's not my skin maybe it's the detergent that i'm using ever since i started using this ivory I have not had not I have not been itchy at all and then it smells really good like this smells way better than gain I promise you next I like to throw in my downy unstoppables just to give it a nice coat and make sure it seals in the, the fragrance smells really good my clothes oh my goodness this new routine I got going with my clothes smells so good girl and I just put a cup of this in my clothes and then for my dryer sheets, I use the Downy Bliss. I got the big one. This one smells so, they smell so good. Like when a good detergent with the um, fabric softener and the good dryer sheets. Girl, you finna be walking around smelling like Jesus. You gonna be smelling, well, I don't know how Jesus smell. I hope he smell good. Well, you gonna be walking around smelling like Elizabeth Taylor. There we go, Elizabeth Taylor. She smelled good, and we we know that, honey. I have I have bought one of her perfumes. And talking about perfumes, uh, honey, I got mine right here. So a lot of people don't know the difference between a body spray, a perfume, and a parfum. Let me show you. So, for instance, Bath and Body Works. This is a body spray. This is something like you know you just lasts about 30 minutes to an hour before you can't smell it anymore smells good though smells really freaking good this is something that i throw on when i get out the shower and i'm about to cuddle with my boo or you know just something something light and then you have a perfume like this chanel perfume here i love this perfume it's one of my favorite perfumes I like elegant smelling perfumes. I know some people might think it smells like an old woman, whatever, we all have different noses. I like elegant perfumes. And then on this one it says Eda Toilette. Eda Toilette on there. So this is a perfume, not a parfum. Eda Toilette basically means that this perfume will last about an hour to two hours, maybe three hours, but after that the scent will start to fade. Next time you go perfume shopping, start reading it and you'll see it'll say parfum on it. So a parfum lasts days. I found a parfum that I want. It's $730. I'm saving up for it right now because I'm going to buy it for my birthday. It literally, I sprayed it on one of those little papers that they let you smell the scents with. And girl, I brought it home, let it sit, literally smelled it. It was in here for three to four days before like the scent started to fade away. You're welcome, thank me later. <laughs> All right, moving on down to the legs and to the feet. Now for my legs, I honestly don't do much. I just use my Nair or I shave. And then for my feet, of course, I get manis and petties. I try to get a mani and petty at least every other week. But then I also have my foot scrubber to get off all the dead skin on my feet when I'm in the shower. Soft feet are really, really important. All right, honey, so those are all of the hygiene products that I'm using right now. This is, nobody has paid me to say this. I bought all this stuff here. I use this stuff on a daily basis. And if you can't tell, if you can't tell, hygiene over here is good, okay, baby? In order to do good, you gotta feel good. In order to feel good, you gotta look good. And if you look good, you gonna get that money. And if you smell good, baby, you gonna get that bag, okay? You already know how it goes. Scared feet don't eat and a closed mouth won't get fed. I hope I gave y'all some good tips. And until next time, mwah, get that money, baby. Hey y'all, it's your girl Malaysia. Thank you so much for watching my channel. Don't forget to subscribe so you can be one of the first to be notified when I drop a new vlog. Don't forget, scared feet don't eat and a closed mouth won't get fed.